Hey YouTube, Awesome Writer here with some Power Rangers news for today. We have our first look and listen at the upcoming Lightning Collection Master Morpher, which we've known about for a while. The news of it kind of leaked, but now we're getting a first look. I imagine this was supposed to be revealed at Hasbro PulseCon that's coming up at the end of the month. There were some people who were even questioning if it was going to come out because we're going for that hiatus. Uh, I'm going to assume that there's going to be at least a few things like this that we don't know about yet or that we know about that were kind of leaked that will come out before the hiatus is, you know, started. Uh, so yeah, we got our look at it. If you don't know, the Master Morpher is a special morpher of Tommy's that he used in Dimensions in Danger, as well as the comic that allows him to use all his ranger forms. We first got a look at the box, which just shows off Tommy from that on the front and the coins and all that, and then we got an actual physical look at it where it looks very shiny. And then someone actually unboxed it and did a video with the sounds, which I will talk about in a second. But just in general, I am pretty stoked for this. You know, I think it's really cool that we're getting it. I'm, I'm glad that it's one of the last things we're getting uh, before since, you know, this originally debuted in Dimensions of Danger right at that sort of crossing point between the Bandai Saban Hasbro eras. So I imagine this was probably in the pipeline for Bandai, at least in terms of them talking about it at the very least, and probably would have been one of the next things we got. So it sucks that like the idea of that being stopped right before and it's taken us so long. And oddly enough, it's this weird bookend where, like, that was one of the last things we saw from the Bandai Saban era and maybe would have come out if things had gone a little bit differently. And then now it's one of the last things we're getting before the Hasbro era pauses. I think that's kind of weird. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Anyway, so yeah, we get a little bit physical look at it. And it looks good overall. I think the Morpher has got a shiny gloss to it, very reminiscent of that first uh, Green White Ranger Morpher from Bandai. The coins look a little bit dull, but it's okay. Um, they also do include the Falcon coin, which I'm surprised because if I recall, I don't think he uses that in the, the comic or the show. I think they just rolled all the White Ranger powers into one. I'm not mad at all. Like, maybe I missed it too. Maybe, because he did some in the Falcon's Order, but I just assumed it was like one White Ranger coin, but I'm not mad because I think it includes a more fitting overall tribute to Tommy, including literally all of his powers, even if the Falcon coin wasn't used in the comic or whatever. I think that's actually pretty cool. Now, in terms of the sounds, this is where you get a little bit mixed. JDF did come in to record stuff, which is really nice. I'm glad they did that, especially after his unfortunate passing. I think this is a nice release overall and the fact that we got him in there, but the sounds are admittedly a very mixed bag. There's like a weird mix of stuff that he did say or sort of say in the show and they do have individual sounds for each coin and then some just completely random phrases that sound like stuff you'd come up with if like you gave somebody a sheet with like a picture of the ranger and like a general character description and they just had to come up with phrases they think they're gonna say almost reminiscent of some of the generic phrases you get out of the morphers before where they come out uh it's weird like you have stuff like him saying you know White Ranger Power or Saba or Red Lightning Power or uh, Ninja Ranger Power, which is nice. You know, he doesn't say, like, Dino Thunder Power Up. Instead, he just says Dino Thunder Black Ranger. So there is a mix of, like, phrases he actually would have said or something close to it. However, I think it might have been accidental that they made their way in there. But there's also stuff that is, like, weirdly awkward. Like, in the White Ranger one, it's like, come on, Saba, we'll all do this together. Or Tiger Power. He kept saying Tiger Power a lot. Or that's the Tiger style. Like, he never said that. Um, a lot of stuff about, like, nothing beats the original for the Green Ranger Morpher, which is kind of annoying. A lot of stuff about, like, not being able to be caught. Like, oh, I'm, you can't catch me, I'm too fast as the Red Turbo Ranger. But again, it's like they looked at it and thought, like, oh, cars, speed, let's do lines about this. But perhaps the best content of that is the Dino Thunder phrases, where he has uh, a phrase that he says, Tommy Oliver, PhD. And it just, it, it makes me laugh because it reminds me of that scene in Once a Ranger when Adam's like, can't believe he's a doctor. And I also feel like it gives you an idea, like our window into an alternate universe where Tommy just constantly reminded people he's a doctor in that series. And it reminds me of like, I think it was the Hangover movies where he's like, I'm a doctor. It's like, you're a dentist. It's like, it would be like the same thing. Like, you're a doctor. Like, dude, you're a paleontologist. Like, sit down. You're not on Grey's Anatomy. You're no McDreamy. So I, I think that's funny. And like, there's another couple, another couple lines where he's like, Dr. Oliver, coming in. He remember his catchphrase before he started teaching classes. But yeah, it's weird. It's like a mix of actual phrases, um, then like stuff sort of in between that has some keywords and phrases that doesn't sound like something he wouldn't necessarily say. And then there's like just completely random phrases. Like at one point, he's just like, Flame Dramon, the fire of courage, and I'm the better Red Ranger. I'm like, what's that doing in there? It's admittedly weird, and it's kind of a shame, especially since it's one of JDF's last recordings that they couldn't have just gotten more concise things he's actually said, including the Master Morpher cheap copy thing. However, I'm not that mad because I feel like there's at least enough phrases that are from the show, and the, the off phrases like the Dr. Oliver PhD are admittedly kind of entertaining. 
And I know they're completely different classes of Morpher, but um, it is better than the uh, like the Cosmic Morpher where they got the voicers, the voicers, the voice actors in there for the, like, the actual actors, but outside of, I think, saying it's Morphin time, they just do a bunch of awkward moaning, which makes the review really weird. You're just like pressing this ball and then Amelia starts moaning. It's just like weird. So at least like it wasn't like that. And it makes me wish that the Cosmic Morpher would have at least had a couple generic phrases, even if it was like Amelia saying, flamed her mom in the fire of courage. It's like, yeah, it's better than that. So it is admittedly mixed and like classic Hasbro, but also kind of funny at the same time. But I have to say, it's nuts that we've never gotten a proper Green White Ranger Tommy Morpher. I just said this on Twitter, but, and I've mentioned this numerous videos when I've discussed anything related to this topic, but that's absolutely crazy to me. That's such a slam dunk release. Like, especially for us fans that love it or hate it, you know the MMPR stuff is usually a much safer bet for a release with certain things, specifically like Red Ranger or Tommy Jason stuff is always like, more of a sure thing, like, you know, the Dragon Dagger, Dragon Zord, all that stuff. So, like, a lot of the first releases for Zap and for the Power Morpher just made sense. Like, not only logically of, like, it's the first one, but it's going to be a big seller amongst not only hardcore but casual fans. And right next to the Power Morpher, arguably in some ways more than the core Power Morpher, a Green White Ranger Morpher seems like a slam dunk release. Like, I remember the original Bandai one being quite popular, and I remember the controversy when the first version of it was a con exclusive, and, it, you know, that had a lot of demand for it. So, that feels like such a slam dunk release and the fact that presuming this Master Morpher is the last thing and setting that aside that before we take this hiatus that we don't know how long it's going to go. Who knows? It could be like an indefinite hiatus and the series could come back in years. They could shelve it for years. So the idea that we're ending this era with having only outside of this really gotten the core Morpher and then a couple of movie Morpher-esque repoints, 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 it's nuts, mate. Like, it's crazy. Like, the repaint morphers, the movie morphers, you know, isn't weird. Bandai did it. It's, you know, from the movie to a degree. Uh, you know, they can't really show it because of rights or whatever. But that idea isn't weird, and it's not outside of the realm of possibility of what I would expect, especially with MMPR being such a marketable thing. Odds are a casual fan is more likely to be interested in a specific color MMPR morpher than a light speed morpher. But the fact that they delved into that right away, I feel like the individual colors for the other rangers is something you go to either after you've done green and you've exhausted all of the core most exciting ones, or something that they released to sort of balance like the other non-MMPR stuff they're doing. But even then, those didn't do that well. Both of them wound up on clearance rather quickly. I don't know what the Pink Ranger one is like now, but I saw that on, you know, discount pretty quickly. And I actually forgot the Yellow Ranger one came out because I was so disinterested in it. I forgot to pre-order it and I realized a while back that, oh my God, I never did that. And I went and got it on GameStop for like on sale. So those didn't do that well in general. So again, it's not outside of the possibility of what I would expect, but it's something you go to later on. And the fact that those were the first things after the Morpher and not Green Rangers is crazy. But I'm glad we're getting the Master Morpher. Even though I would want a Lightning Collection uh, Green White Ranger Morpher, I definitely want a Master Morpher more as it's something we've never gotten. You know, we did get the Legacy one, which is probably hard to get a hold of now. I don't, the aftermarket prices are probably pretty nuts. Um, you know, aftermarket prices are probably crazy for a lot of stuff now. Like, when I first got into retro collecting, like, yeah, you'd have to bid high on some stuff, but now some stuff is nuts. I was looking up Digimon stuff earlier, and, like, it costs, like, the promise of all of your future children and grandchildren to get a Digivice. It's crazy. And, like, how old it makes me feel. It's like, ancient relic Digivice, one million dollars. I'm like, really? Season two of Digimon was, like, ten years ago, right? Right? That was a side tangent. Uh, the point is, is that I'm glad we're getting the Master Morpher, even though I logically want to see a Green and White Ranger one. I think this is a better release because, especially after, unfortunately, what happened with JDF, it's like a nice tribute for him for the anniversary year, but also it's something we've never gotten before and something a lot of fans have wanted. So I am super stoked for it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you going to be picking this up? Would you rather have had this or the Core Green White Ranger Morpher? Let me know in the comments as usual. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you go to Occasions for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.